Over the last 15 years, the security of the North American Bulk Electric System, or BES, has become a priority for maintaining the integrity of our country's critical infrastructure. A growing risk to the electric system is the cyber threat, which continues to evolve on an almost daily basis as attacks become both more sophisticated and more prevalent. To ensure that the reliability and security of the North American grid remains intact, the United States empowered the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC, to impose mandatory reliability standards on electric system owners and operators. This training program will focus on the FERC-approved standards that relate to cybersecurity. Even though the foundation of FERC can be traced back to the 1920s under the Federal Power Commission, it wasn't until the Energy Policy Act of 2005 that FERC was formally granted the authority to impose mandatory regulations on electric system owners and operators. FERC has the authority to assess financial penalties and sanctions to asset owners and operators that violate FERC's regulations, known as the reliability standards. The Energy Policy Act of 2005 also required FERC to delegate an Electric Reliability Organization, or ERO, that would be responsible for developing reliability standards and enforcing compliance to FERC orders. FERC selected the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, or NERC, to be the ERO. Prior to 2006, NERC existed for decades as a voluntary industry organization that developed guidelines and best practices to ensure reliability of the electric system. However, it carried no mandatory authority. This focus on reliability and industry experience resulted in NERC's designation as the ERO, and it would be NERC's guidelines and best practices that would serve as the foundation for the reliability standards that are in place today. NERC has divided the North American electric system into eight regional entities that are responsible for the auditing and enforcement of the NERC reliability standards. In January 2008, FERC issued Order 706, which established the Critical Infrastructure Protection Cybersecurity Standards, commonly called the SIP standards. This set of NERC standards focuses on identifying and protecting the cyber assets used to operate the BES critical infrastructure. NERC is responsible for maintaining and assessing the effectiveness of the SIP standards. FERC is the official body that approves the security requirements that our industry must adhere to, while NERC is the organization that works with the industry to develop the reliability standards. The NERC regions perform the continuous compliance monitoring and enforcement activities for registered entities. Failure to adhere to the SIP standards can result in fines of up to $1 million per day per violation, which is the highest penalty of any regulatory framework in North America. The financial impacts of being found non-compliant with these standards can be devastating. However, NERC typically issues penalties on the lower end of the penalty structure. While FERC has no jurisdiction in Canada, it is important to know that the same protections exist on the shared electric system that extends beyond U.S. borders. In recognition of this need, Canada has adopted the ERO model as well. With respect to the SIP standards, each province has the authority to determine which standards to adopt and, as a result, applicability varies from province to province. WECC, MRO, and NPCC are all NERC regions with a regulatory presence in Canada. The financial penalty threshold is also much smaller than it is in the United States. Now that you understand the overall regulations concerning our industry and why we must follow them, we will provide more in-depth training on the SIP standards. Specifically, in the following videos, we will cover terms and definitions used in the SIP standards, risks associated with interconnected and interdependent BES cyber systems, Asset Identification and Requirement Applicability SIP Policy Requirements Electronic Access Controls Physical Access Controls and Visitor Control Programs
Protecting BES Cyber System Information Incident Response BES Cyber System Recovery By understanding these topics, you not only help ensure you and our organization remain secure, but that our organization remains fully compliant with the SIP standards by helping to fulfill the common mission of providing a safe, reliable, and secure bulk electric system. Yeah. <laughs>